this would be the filament inside the Torah's egg, okay? The sky that runs across, okay? So it's almost like a dome, okay? So we're sealed off from these realms above. And I'll explain all that in a second, right? So when we're looking at it from underneath, when we're sat on the earth, we're seeing all the um, constellations revolving above us, okay? So pretty straightforward, really. So that's the firmament, okay? So this firmament, on its axis, right, is revolving, okay? There's motion, everything's moving above us, but the terra firma we're standing on is obviously not moving, okay? So this axis is revolving, it's turning the firmament with all the um, stars and the constellations and everything else. In turn, it's also affecting the motions of these toroidal fields that are spinning around us, like we discussed earlier on. Those toroidal fields are also carrying the suns and moons around, which is causing our days and nights and seasons and times, okay? And that in turn, that motion is also creating our, our weather, our winds, our currents, uh, flows, airstreams, everything else. So it's, it's, it's one big system working together. It's a network starting from the cosmic vortex. Like that. Right? If that was the top of our toroidal field, from the top, this is where we live. Okay? Our torus field, our sun and moon, is the sun and moon that we see every day, that revolves around our torus field. These outer lands have got their own sun and moon, which are Mars and Venus. This outer land, they've got their own sun and moon as well, which is Saturn and Jupiter, the planet Saturn and Jupiter. The center is the only one that's an exception, because the sun and moon there are androgynous, and that's the planet Mercury. So Mercury is both a sun and a moon, okay, at the center. So now we've got the seven wandering planets. Mercury at the center, inside the sun, like mainstream science tells us, right? You've got the moon, the sun, on the outside, Venus, Mars, um, Jupiter, and Saturn being the last one. So Saturn, Mars, and Apollo are suns, right? On the other side, you've got our moon, Venus, and Jupiter, which are moons. In mythology, they said that Mother Gaia had two children. Okay, this is Mother Gaia, the whole thing. Had two children. Who are the two children? The two children are the top part and the bottom part. Prometheus and Epimetheus. These are the two held be below us. Okay? Right? I hope that makes sense. So I'll move on to the next slide. That this is what the whole Earth looks like. Our entire Earth is a pyramid or mandala with four concentric rings. Right? One, two, three, four. Right? Everything's in at the center. We've got what we now know as the Garden of Eden. So anyone who's been following our videos will know about this. The Garden of Eden's at the center. This is where we are here, the second ring. There's an outer ring and an outer ring outside that, all separated by these mountains, what we call the Antarctica ice wall. Okay, this is our South Pole, the Antarctica. And the North Pole, there is a mountain range separating us from the world at the center, from Eden, from Shambhala, Hyperborea.